Today's episode is going to be a season-defining episode. There is eight games remaining in the Premier League season here in Season 1. We have 12 points up to Liverpool, so I don't think we're going to catch Liverpool. We're going to need a miracle to do that. But we have two points down to Wolves with a game in hand. We have three points down to Manchester City. And we have four points down to Leicester in fifth. So it's all to play for in today's episode. In today's episode, we will be playing Leicester away. We will play Newcastle away. We will sim Crystal Palace at home. And we will play Manchester United at home in today's episode. So it's going to be a very difficult episode. We've got Leicester away to kick off. Today's episode, they are of course only four points behind us down in fifth position. So it's all to play for in today's episode. If we can pick up at least six points, maybe seven in today's episode, we will guarantee, guarantee ourselves uh, a top four place, I think, if we beat Leicester. So it's all to play for. So we'll move ahead now to that fixture against Leicester away. At the King Power Stadium. As we get a monthly scout report there. But we can check that later. We've also got a training injury here. Unfortunately for us. John Joe Kenny, uh, Kenny suffered a torn hamstring. And initially will be out for up to 8 weeks. Ah. Uh, well I think we've got Seamus Coleman. Back from his injury. So we'll go have a quick look at that. Before we, we start here. John Joe Kenny. And hopefully Seamus Coleman is down here. Yep, there he is. So, 77 rated now, Seamus Coleman. So I will be looking to bring in either a backup or a new start and right back in the summer transfer window. As you can see, Lucas Dean now up to 85. Alan, 83. Hamas Rodriguez, 82. So everyone's growing very, very nicely here at Season 1. It's going to look very, very good in Season 2 if the growth continues. We are, of course, looking to add a bit more quality in the summer transfer window, but that's something that we'll take when we get to that point. So without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into today's first game against Leicester away. So here is the Leicester City lineup: Kastrupa, Schmeichel, and Goal, Klosterman, Evans, Bender, and Marcelo at left back. Tillemans, and Diddy, and Bardi, with Perez, Abraham, and Chad Hurry. They've got Iannaccio on the bench, Pereira on the bench, and Unda on the bench. And here is the Everton starting a lineup here: Jordan Pickford in goal, Seamus Coleman, Mason Holgate, Jean-Philippe Gabamon, and Lucas Dean as the back four. Alan, Hamas Rodriguez and Andre Gomez with Richarlison, Wilfred Zaha and Dominic Calvert-Lewin up top for us. It's going to be a difficult fixture here at the King Power Stadium. It's second versus fifth. So I'll be left to City to get this season-defining episode underway here. It's going to be an incredible important couple of weeks here as Klosterman gets the ball looks to chip it up but cut out there by Wilfred Zaha given to Andre Gomez Allen we look to go back to Hamas Rodriguez here we look to give it to Andre Gomez but cut out by Tillemans uh, Klosterman I'm sorry gives it to Perez on the right hand side here Klosterman plays it back in field to Perez Tillemans is making the run forward, plays it back to Klosterman, in field to Perez, back to Yuri Tillemans. And it's cut out nicely there by Andre Gomez. So it'll be Klosterman with the throw in here, looking to get it into the box. Plays it in field to Tillemans. He's got a bit of space, Tillemans, lovely bit of skill there, back to Klosterman. He's looking for a bit of space to work the cross into the box here. And it goes back to Tillemans here. But it's cut out by Andre Gomez, who runs into the heel of Lucas Dean, and it goes out for a Leicester throw in here. So we look to cut out the space if we possibly can, make it difficult for him. Tillemans, Klosterman, 
Still trying to work it into the box, our last step. Almost intercepted by Lucas Dean. Plays it to Indidi, just outside the Everton box to Abraham. Back to Indidi, who looks for a through ball there. And that was offside. So they've been building for a while there, Leicester. And luckily enough for us, he was in an offside position. So hopefully we can go up the other end now. And uh, work a chance of our own. So it's Pickford to Mason Holgate here. We look to play Gabamon. And we'll look for the run here of Lucas Dean, who didn't make me a run. He stood still, but Will Zaha plays it infield to Andre Gomez. We'll give it to Homage Rodriguez here. We'll play it back to Allen. There's a bit of space there for Richarlison, who's inside the box, and that was a heavy touch. And the ball bounces clear there. Played up towards Abraham. Give back to Shadhuri here, coming down the left-hand side for Leicester. He gets around Mason Holgate. We've got Seamus Coleman going over there for cover. Marcelo plays it infield to Indidi. Tommy Abraham gives it to Bardi and a good interception there by Allen. So back to Marcelo here. No, Chad Horry, I'm sorry. Now it's Marcelo. Bardi, Chad Horry, Tillemans looking to work the ball into the box here. Don't tackle him too hard. I don't want to give away any free kicks on the edge of the area. And a good interception there by Seamus Coleman who looks to bring the ball away for Everton. We'll give it to Richarlison. We'll go infield to Allen. And hopefully someone will make me a run here. Andre Gomez, we'll look to jip it over the top there, looking for Wilfred Zaha. And we look to whip it into the box there, looking for the back post. But it's cleared only as far as Allen, who gives it to Andre Gomez. And a good tackle left from Johnny Evans. Tillemans plays it up to Tammy Abraham. Bardi. Chad Horry chips it to Tillemans, just inside the Everton half here now. 30 minutes gone, Wilfred Zaha. We look to give it to Lucas Dean here. We'll play infield to Allen. Rodriguez. And someone needs to make me a run here, but it's cut out by Johnny Evans. Plays up to Tammy Abraham. Bardi. Chips it over looking for Shad Hori. Plays it back to Marcelo. Coming down the left-hand side now. Bardi out to Shad Hori again. Who looks to work it into the box here, but goes back to Mancello. Bardi again. He's inside the Everton box now. There's space for Tammy Abraham. And it's cut out then by Mason Holgate. So it'll be a Leicester City corner here at the King Power Stadium. 38 minutes gone. It's been a very cagey affair so far here between Everton and Leicester. We're still looking for the breakthrough. We've got to first defend this corner here from Leicester. It'll be Bardi to swing it in. Will he use the short option there from Marcelo? He won't. He'll look to swing it straight in to Johnny Evans. And it's just past the far post there of Jordan Pickford. That's a warning shot there from Leicester. It wasn't far wide. Oof. So we'll see if we can't go up the other end now and nick ourselves a goal. Jordan Pickford to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. We'll look to play Mason Holgate here. And there's not much movement ahead of Mason Holgate. Oh, as we were looking for... I was intentionally looking for Lucas Dean there, but we played it twice the last set. And Perez uh, gets the ball there. And a good interception there from Jean-Philippe Gabamon. So it'll be another corner kick to Leicester. 43 and a half minutes gone here at the King Power Stadium. It'll be Bardi to whip it in for Leicester City. And headed away from Jean-Philippe Gabamon. Can Hamas Rodriguez get there for us? And we can maybe... Set up a counter-attack of our own here on the stroke of half-time. We'll go inside to Richarlison. We look for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We look to whip it out to the left-hand side here for Lucas Dean. We've had quite a bit of space there. There's a few men in the box for Everton. And it'll be an Everton corner here. Deep into stoppage time of the first half. And we'll look to put James Rodriguez on that uh, corner kick here. And hopefully we can find the head of Dominic Calvert-Lewin or Richarlison. Ooh, and it just bends the wrong way from Richarlison there. And that'll be the last action of the first half here at the King Power Stadium. Nil-nil between the two sides. Leicester have had more of the chances here at the King Power Stadium. So it'll be Dominic Calvert-Lewin to get the second half underway here at the King Power Stadium. Plays James Rodriguez, Andre Gomez. We'll go out to Lucas Dean here. 
We need to try and create a few more chances here at the King Power Stadium. We only had one big chance, and I think, or two chances, I'm sorry, and that was the corner deep into stoppage time. We look to go to Andre Gomez here. We look to give it into James Rodriguez, but he needs a bit of support, does James Rodriguez. We'll look for Allen here, just outside the, uh, the Leicester City box. We'll go back to James. Play Andre Gomez here. We look for the run there of Dominic Albert Lewin, but it's cut out by Ndidi. And Leicester look to come again here. We go out to the left hand side to Marcelo here, who brings it forward for Leicester City. Nice piece of skill there, plays it into Shed Hori, and he's got Seamus Coleman in pursuit here, I think. No, it's Allen. He gets away from Allen, gives it to Bardi, into Windidi, gives it to Yuri Tillemans. And there's a lot of space there for Klosterman. We need to close him down. And a good slide and tackle there from Jean-Philippe Gabamon to cut out that opportunity there from Klosterman. Went off his chest and out for a Leicester City corner kick. So it'll be Bardi to swing this corner in. But first, a substitution. Chad Hurry goes off. And Castagna's coming on for Leicester City. In the 56th minute. So Bardi to swing this corner in from the far side. Get that away, please. And Jean-Philippe gets a clearance on the ball, but only as far as a Leicester player. And Pickford comes out and claims the ball there. So hopefully we can go up the other end now and get ourselves a goal. We'll roll it out for Seamus Coleman. We need someone to make us a run. And we see Richarlison's willing to make that run for us. He's getting his shirt pulled a bit there, but he's inside the Leicester City box. We'll chip it into the middle there, looking for Wilfred Zaha, but it's cut out by the Leicester defence. Only as far as Seamus Coleman, and a good slide and tackle there from Marcelo. Puts it out for an Everton throw-in. As Perez is coming off now, and Under is coming on for Leicester. I think the ex-Roma left winger there, coming on for Leicester City. Coleman, we'll throw it in quickly there for Richarlison. We look to get it into the box there. Looking for Dominic calvert lewin but it's cleared away by Leicester City. Only as far as Jean-Philippe Gabamon, Lucas Dean, Allen. We look to play a little bit quicker now. Try and get it on James's left foot, and we do. Oh, just as I was going to pull the trigger there. But he runs into a bit of trouble. Does James Rodriguez, and Leicester City come away with the ball again. Marcelo plays it back to Bender. Chips it infield, looking for Tillemans. He plays a lovely crossfield ball there, looking for Castagna. Can he keep it in play? He does, and a good cut out there by Mason Holgate, and we'll look to go straight up the other end now and grab ourselves a goal. We'll play with Charleston here, we'll look to go inside for James Rodriguez, Jean-Philippe Gabamon. There's a bit of space there on the left-hand side for Lucas Dean, and we'll look to whip it into the box here, and hopefully Alan can get there. Oh, that'll be a goal kick. He couldn't get the precision. He certainly got enough power on the header, but... We couldn't steer that goal, Woods. So it'll be Kasper Schmeichel with the goal kick here. Just over 15 minutes remaining, plus stoppage time at the King Power Stadium. Does any of the teams here have the key to unlock the deadlock? As James Rodriguez picks up the ball there, but goes straight back to Yuri Tillemans. Johnny Evans brings the ball away for Leicester, plays it out to Under on the right-hand side here of Leicester City, for Leicester City, plays it infield to Tillemans again. 12 minutes plus stoppage time remaining here at the King Power Stadium. Lucas Dean just gets there with a long foot, plays it back to Jordan Pickford. We look to go back to Lucas Dean here. Time for an out here if we want to take all three points with us back to Merseyside. Dominic Albert lewin We look to go to, into Allen here. And we'll give the ball to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. We'll look for Andre Gomez, who's got a bit of space here. We'll go infield again to James Rodriguez. We'll look to send Dominic calvert lewin on a run here. We'll look for the run of Allen here, who's inside the box. Can he score, Allen? He can. It's 1-0 to Everton in the 83rd minute here at the, in the King Power Stadium. Lovely bit of play from Everton there. And Allen opens the score in here in the 83rd minute. Dominic calvert lewin finds a lovely way to pass there into Allen's run. And he buries it behind Kasper Schmeichel. Looks like all three points are coming home to Merseyside with us. Leicester have been the better team. But we find the opening goal that we've been looking for. 
It's his fourth goal this season for Allen. As will be Tammy Abraham to get the second half back up underway here for Leicester. Johnny Evans. Uh, Klosterman, I'm sorry. Tillemans. Plays out to Marcelo. You've got six minutes plus stoppage time to try and find an answer. Have Leicester City. Tillemans. Plays it up. Looking for Tammy Abraham. But cut out by Jean-Philippe Gabamon. And we look to go out to Lucas Dean here. Give that back into Jean-Philippe Gabamon. We'll play Hamas Rodriguez. Allen. We'll go up to Dominic Harvard Lewin here. We look to give that back to Hamas Rodriguez. We'll play Allen. There's a bit of space there for Andre Gomez. Allen again. We'll look for Richarlison. We're deep into stoppage time here. We'll look to whip this ball in. Looking for someone on the back post. And there is the full-time whistle. We run out 1-0 one, one leaders here at the King Power Stadium. All three points will be coming back to Merseyside. We managed to get the very important win that we were looking for over Leicester. So that now puts a six-point gap. Uh, sorry, that puts an eight-point gap between ourselves and Leicester down in fifth. Very, very important win at the King Power Stadium. Let's move ahead to the next one now. Have a quick look at the final match stats here. We had four shots to their three. We had two on target to their two. And we had a slight bit more possession than them. So, very happy to run out 1-0 winners here at the King Power Stadium. So, we'll move ahead now to Newcastle away. So, we can have a look what that result did to the league table there. We are 10 points behind Liverpool. They obviously dropped points in their last game. And we have three points down to Manchester City in third. So we're still holding our own in second. It would be lovely to be able to finish the first season here at Goodison Park in second place and guarantee ourselves Champions League football for next season. But a top four finish overall would be a fantastic achievement here. So we'll look to move ahead now to that away fixture against Newcastle United. As we get some scouting reports available here. So we'll have a quick look at those. Um, we'll sign him up. We will reject him. Reject him. Uh, we'll sign you. We will reject you. We will sign you. And we will reject you. And we'll have a quick look at the other ones remaining here before we move into that fixture against Newcastle away we'll sign these players here they looked okay they don't look anything too special but we'll take them up and we'll let them train for a little while and we'll see how they get on here uh, we will reject you the overall is 38 to 48 that's a bit too low so we'll reject you and uh, we'll take you up See how you grow. Reject you. Uh, take you up. Uh, reject. Reject. And reject. So we'll have a quick look at the squad now before we move ahead to Newcastle away. And everyone looks like they're ready to go here. So we will make one change to the squad. We will take out Andre Gomez and we'll put Abdullah Decore in. And that'll be the only change going into Newcastle away. So before we jump into this game, guys, if you are a new viewer to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button. Please do tick the little notifications bell and turn it to all notifications on so you do not miss any future content coming to the channel. If you are enjoying this Everton career mode save here on FIFA 21, then please remember to smash the like button, guys, to show me the support. It really does help the channel. And if you have any feedback for me, guys, anything that I can do to make it more entertaining or realistic for you guys watching, then please do let me know in the comment section below. All your feedback is, of course, greatly appreciated. So anything I can do to improve this for you guys watching, then I will, of course, do so. I want this to be as entertaining as possible. So without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into the second game of today's episode against Newcastle away at St. James's Park. 
So here is the Newcastle lineup here. Dubravka in goal. Torre, Clark, Tarkowski, Zavic and Ritchie. With Lewis, Hayden, Zielinski and Frazier. With Andrea Bellotti up top. They've got Maxim, Callum Wilson, Yedlin on the bench. And here is the Everton starting eleven here. Jordan Pickford in goal. Seamus Coleman, Mason Holgate, Jean-Claude Gabamon and Lucas Dean. Alan, Hamas Rodriguez and Abdullah Decore, the midfield three. With Richarlison, Wilfred Zaha and as always Dominic Calvert-Lewin up top for us here. So it'll be Bellotti to get the first half underway here at St. James's Park. Not going to be an easy fixture this. Never an easy place to go. St. James's Park. And bring all three points away. As Hayden runs straight into Allen there. We look to send Dominic Calvert-Lewin away. Have we got the chance to score in the second minute? We blaze it straight at Dubravka there. There was a big, big chance there. In the second minute of this game. They give it straight to Wilfred Zaha here. We look for Abdullah Decore there, but Wilfred Zaha gets the ball back. We look in field to Decore now, and we look to bend that into the far corner, but blocked by the Newcastle defence. It's been a good start to the game so far here at St. James's Park. As they look for a cross-field ball there, looking for Frazier. And that just goes out of play for an Everton throw. So hopefully we can continue this now and go up and find ourselves a goal here. Gabamon. Gives it to Mason Holgate, who brings the ball forward for Everton. Quite a lot of space to run into here for Mason Holgate. Lucas Dean on the left-hand side for Everton. We look to play Wilfred Zaha. We look to whip it into the box now, but that's straight into the Newcastle man. So that'll be an Everton throw. Deep into the Newcastle half here. Throw that towards Lucas Dean. We look to check back onto his left foot, but a good tackle there by the Newcastle man, which sends Lewis away down the, the left-hand side here. Newcastle's right. 13 minutes gone here at St. James's Park. We've had two pretty decent chances in the opening minutes here. We didn't manage to find the net on either of them. Hayden gives it to Bellotti. And can't quite get away from Abdullah Decore there. So hopefully we can make a move here. And we see there's a lot of space there for Thomas Rodriguez. I also see there's a lot of space on the other side for Richarlison. Oh, I was just trying to tip that ball around to Richarlison there. But it's clear by Newcastle up to Ryan Frazier. Who gets away from Mason Holgate. He's just coming into the Everton box now. He looks for a cross towards Bellotti. But headed away from by Gabamon. Allen brings the ball away for Everton here. Up to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We look to go back into Abdullah Decore here. We look to send Wilfred Zaha on a run. There's a lot of space here in between the back here. We'll chip it in. Looking for James Rodriguez. Who couldn't quite get there. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Just fires wide there. I expect better from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. That was a chance. Could have maybe have took a touch. Got a bit more control and composure before the finish there. But we've had quite a few big chances here so far at St. James's Park. It'll be Debraka to get the game back off underway here. He plays a long ball up looking for Bellotti. Hopefully Holgate can win that for us. And he does. He gives the ball straight to James Rodriguez. Decore. James Rodriguez. He'll give it back to Decore here. And we'll look to try and get that to Lucas Dean. But that'll be a Newcastle throw. Just inside the Everton half here. The throw to Hayden. Back to Clark. Traore uh, right back for Newcastle. Back in field to Clark. Plays a long ball up looking for Lewis. But that'll go out for an Everton throw here. Lucas Dean with the throw in. Into Abdullah Decore. We'll look for Wilfred Zaha here. Hopefully Lucas Dean will continue his run for us. We'll look to chip that over the top there looking for Lucas Dean. But he couldn't quite keep that in. So it'll be Traore with the Newcastle throw. Plays it into Hayden. Plays it to Zielinski. Just midway through the Newcastle half here. Put into pressure there by James Rodriguez. Plays a long ball up there looking for Ritchie. And that'll go out for an Everton goal kick. That Jordan Pickford will take. So Jordan Pickford with the goal kick here. To Mason Holgate. He gives it to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. They're giving us quite a, lot, quite a lot of space to work with here on Newcastle. Decore. Oh, couldn't quite get the pass out that I was looking for for Lucas D, uh, for Wilfred Zaha. And Bellotti runs straight into Jean-Philippe Gabamon. And that will be a Newcastle free kick there. He used a bit too much force there, did Jean-Philippe Gabamon. So Hayden plays a quick free kick to Bellotti. But he can't get around Jean-Philippe Gabamon. But they give the ball back to Hayden, to Bellotti again. 
He's got a bit of space to run into here and a good finish from Bolotti. But he just puts it wide of Jordan Pick Pickford's far post there. That was a chance for Newcastle. We've had a fair few chances so far in this first half. We need to have a bit more composure in the final third. Jordan Pickford with this goal kick here for Everton. Gives it to Mason Holgate. We look to go for Jean-Philippe Gabamon here. We'll bring the ball forward for Everton. Got a lot of space to run into here, Jean-Philippe. Give it to James Rodriguez. Find Allen here. We'll go inside to Dominic Carvalhoen. And we need a bit of space and a bit of, bit of run for somebody to make the space. But it's not happening so far. And they play a long ball up looking for Lewis. Lucas Dean is in pursuit here. We're on the stroke of half time here at St. James's Park. We've had more than enough opportunities to find the goal that we've been looking for. Hayden plays it into Bellotti. And he can't get away from Jean-Philippe Cabaman. And Holgate will hopefully clear that for us. But it's picked up by Newcastle again. Ryan Frazier gives it to Richie. I'm not quite sure how much more stoppage time we want to play here, ref. We're deep into stoppage time here. And Bellotti. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. Wow. I for sure thought that was a penalty because I'm, I clipped him that. And he went down, did Bellotti. But it's nil-nil at halftime here at St. James's Park. We've had more than enough chances here. We had a great chance with Dominic Calvert-Lewin after two minutes. But we need a bit more composure in the final third and the second half here. If we're going to unlock the deadlock here at St. James's Park. So it'll be Dominic Calvert-Lewin to get this second half underway here at St. James's Park. We'll go out to Lucas Dean. Infield to Abdoulaye Decor, right? Allen. We need a bit more composure in the final third here, like I was saying. We have had the chances, and they are giving us the space, Newcastle. I just need to be able to turn possession into goals here. Hamas Rodriguez, we look to get that to Allen. We'll find the run of Hamas Rodriguez again here. But I ran into trouble, so we got to give that to Allen. We look for Seamus Coleman here. And we look to go back to Richarlison. No, we won't. We'll look to go all the way back to Mason Holgate. That's not who I intended that for. Gabamon to Corey. Allen again here. I need a, someone to make me a decent run here. As Allen still has the ball here just outside the Newcastle box. He's looking for some support, Allen. We'll give it to Seamus Coleman. And that'll go out for an Everton throw in here. And we'll look to throw it back to Allen here. And hopefully we can find Seamus Coleman again. And we'll look to try and move it into the middle here. Homer Rodriguez. we look for Abdoulaye Decore. And a nice turn there from Abdoulaye Decore. But a good tackle there from the Newcastle man. As Richie looks to bring the ball away now for Newcastle. But it's intercepted by Seamus Coleman. And we'll go infield here for Homer Rodriguez. Onto his left foot but closed down quickly. And he runs into trouble again does James. Allen. And it's intercepted and brought away by Newcastle again. And finding it difficult to break down Newcastle here at St. James's Park. Frazier plays it back to Richie. Hopefully you can get that for me, Seamus. He does. It's Allen. We'll play it up to James Rodriguez here. We'll play it around the corner. And there's a lot of space there for Wilf if I can find him. But it falls to Dominic Albert Lewin to Corey. It's 1-0 to Everton. We finally have the breakthrough that we've been looking for here at St. James's Park. It's Abdoulaye de Corey that finds the back of the net for us here. We've been trying our hardest to break down that back line of Newcastle. And we finally find a way through. Dominic Calvert-Lewin with the assist. A bit lucky there that the ball went back to the core eight. And a lovely layback there from Shame, uh, from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And thundered home there by Abdoulaye de Corre past Dubravka. 1-0 to Everton at St. James's Park. Can we go find ourselves another? So it'll be Bellotti to get the second half back up underway here at St. James's Park. They're going to look to answer us as quick as possible on Newcastle. Hopefully we can stop that from happening. I'd love to get back-to-back -back wins here to start off today's episode. Gabamon to the goal scorer, Abdoulaye Decore. Allen again, Holgate. We look to go to Seamus Coleman here. Is Richarlson in a bit of room? We look to go infield here to James Rodriguez. There's a nice run there from Dom. Can't quite find the runner Dominic Calvert-Lewin there. Holgate can't quite win that header up against Bellotti. 
But Jean-Philippe Gabamon has had the better of Bellotti for most of the day here. He hasn't managed to get past Jean-Philippe Gabamon many times, Bellotti. As Hayden plays it back to Clark. Looks for a cross ball there, looking for Lewis, who finds the Newcastle man. And he just pulls it wide of Jordan Pickford's post there. So that was definitely a let-off there. So we look to make a double substitution here at St. James's Park with 15 minutes remaining plus stoppage time. It'll be Decore going off for Tom Davis and it'll be Wilfred Zaha going off for Alex Awobi. Just trying to freshen things up here. We do have quite a lot of game in today's episode. I want to try and keep players as fresh as possible. So it'll be Jordan Pickford with this goal kick here for Everton. Plays it to Mason Holgate. And we'll look to go across there to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. There's a lot of space here out on the left-hand side for Lucas Dean. So hopefully Awobi can make a run for me. And he does. He's in behind the Newcastle man there. And that should be a corner kick to Everton here. Or oh, did that touch Awobi last? It'll be a goal kick to Newcastle. 12 minutes plus stoppage time remaining here at St. James's Park. It'll be Dubravka. He'll no doubt go long looking towards Bellotti here. And then he plays it short to Clark. <laughs> and he chips it up to Tarkowski, who gives it to Hayden, who tries to find the Traore coming down the right-hand side here. He just keeps it in, Traore. Good piece of play there. And he finds a Newcastle man, and it's 1-1 here at St. James's Park. Was that offside? Oh, it didn't go in. I, I for sure thought that went in. I just saw the net bulge there, and I was... Sure, that was one all there. Wow, that was a major letter for us here. Still 1-0 to Everton. As Newcastle look to make a substitution here. We'll see. It's Frazier going off. And who was it who was come on for Newcastle there? I didn't quite see that. It looks like Callum Wilson coming on for Newcastle here. So we look just to go long here. 82 minutes gone here. At St. James's Park. Can we get there first? We can't. It falls nicely to Callum Wilson here. Allen's in pursuit. He gets around Allen, but he can't get away from Seamus Coleman. And he gives the ball to Richarlison. And we're looking to come with Richarlison here. And we look to go infield there for Dominic Albert lewin And a nice run there from Tom Davis. He's through on Dubravka. Can he score, Tom Davis? He can't. He pulls it past the far post, Tom Davis. That was a big chance there for Everton and Tom Davis. Oh, it wasn't far wide either. 87 minutes gone here. Three minutes remaining plus stoppage time at St. James's, St. James's Park. Dubravka will look to get this game back off underway here from the goal kick. Hopefully Allen can win that for us. He doesn't. It go, falls to Callum Wilson. Back to Callum Wilson there. He's making a run. Can we hold on? Lovely piece of skill there. He's inside the box, Callum Wilson. And we'll look just to get this ball clear now. And luckily it goes falls to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We look to play Richarlison in here. Four minutes of stoppage time here. We look to go inside here for Hamas Rodriguez. Oh, he just gets clipped there, Hamas. That'll be an Everton free kick. So we'll look just to play this short here now. And we'll look to try and turn and get the shot off. But we couldn't. It's clear by Bellotti. And we'll look just to keep a hold of this ball now. We'll play it out to Alex Awobi. And we'll look just to keep a hold of the ball here now. And we give the ball away instead of trying to keep a hold of it. And there's the full-time whistle. We run out 1-0 winners at St. James's Park. It wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. We had chances to extend our lead. But Newcastle definitely had chances to peg us back. But job done up on Tyneside. So here are the final match stats here. We had five shots to their four. We had three on target to their one. And we had quite a bit more possession than they did. So I'm very, very happy to run out 1-0 winners here at St. James's Park.
But we'll move ahead now to Crystal Palace at home, which is another difficult fixture. So now we're ready for the third fixture of today's episode against Crystal Palace at home, which will, of course, be a simulated fixture. As you can see, we've got five points down to Wolves in third, but we do have a game in hand. And we've got six points down to Manchester City in fourth. So we'll, it looks like we're solidifying second position as our own here. So we'll have a quick look at the squad that's going to start against Crystal Palace for us. We will go with the strongest squad that we have available to us, which is that one, I think. So we'll look to jump straight in here against Crystal Palace at home. And hopefully we've got enough about us to, to keep all three points on Merseyside. We'll look just to do a quick sim here. And we run out 3-1 winners at Goodison Park. A goal from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Calvert-Lewin. So a hat-trick for Dominic Calvert-Lewin against uh, Crystal Palace at home. Very, very pleased with that. So we've won all the games so far in today's episode. We've been on a very, very good run of form. We'll just have a quick look at the league table here. See where Manchester United are in the table. Manchester United are down in 7th on 61 points. They've won 18. Draw, drew seven and lost eight. We are, of course, up in second. We've won 23, drawn six, lost four. So it looks like second position is well within reach here in season one at Goodison Park. That is a fantastic achievement in season one. Very, very happy with that. As we look to move ahead now to this fixture against Manchester United. So we'll look to jump straight into this press conference. Before Manchester United at home at Goodison Park. Thanks See what the, the local press have to ask us before this fixture here. This has already been a memorable season for Everton. One more win will we'll cap it off with the Champions League. Um, so with one more win will guarantee Champions League football. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I think we're good enough, yes. We don't... I won't need a team talk. We have our chance now. Um, I think we're good enough. We've been playing very, very well this episode. So I'd be very happy if we could cap off this episode with the three points against Manchester United. Last time out, your team looked good and secured a con convincing victory against Manchester United. Um, the lads are in great form. It's all about the results. Confidence counts. Um... It's all about the result. We're going to focus on this game. That's what's most important. It's, of course, very nice that we beat them in the previous previous fixture, but this is a different day. It's a different game. Will uh, Where will Everton goal, goals come from? Um, I believe we've got goals in us. I just want a good performance. And... Um, I just want a good performance. If we get a good performance, then the goals will come. We have been making chances in this uh, in this uh, episode. So I have no doubt that if we create the chances and we play well, then the result will fall our way here at Goodison Park. So before we jump into the final game of today's episode, guys, as always, if you are a new viewer to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button. Please do hit the notifications bell and turn all notifications on so you do not miss any future content coming to the channel. If you are enjoying this Everton career mode save here on FIFA 21, guys, then please remember to smash the like button for me and show me the support. It really does help the channel grow. So please do hit the like button. And if you have any feedback for me whatsoever, guys, then please leave it for me in the comment section below. If there's anything I can do differently to make this more entertaining and enjoyable for you guys watching, then please do let me know. I want this to be as enjoyable for you guys watching as possible. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into a very difficult home fixture against Manchester United. So here is the Everton lineup. Jordan Pickford in goal, Seamus Coleman, Mason Holgate, Jean-Philippe Gabamon and Lucas Dean, with Alan, Mohamed Rodriguez and Abdoulaye Decore as the midfield three, with Richarlson, Wilfred Zaha. And the hat-trick hero from the previous match, Dominic Harvard-Lewin up top. And the Manchester United lineup 
David De Gea in goal. Florenzi, Smalling, Maguire and Brandon Williams. Scott McTominay and Van Der Beek. With James, Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes. With Harry Kane up top. You've got Depay, Greenwood on the bench, Manchester United. So it'll be Dominic Carvalho lewin to get this first half underway here at Goodison Park. Expecting a very, very difficult fixture here against Manchester United. They are, of course, down in seventh. And with a win, we are secured Champions League football for season two here. And that would be fantastic to be able to secure that with a couple of games remaining here. So Seamus Coleman. Go inside to Allen. There's a bit of space there for Hummers, uh, Dominic Albert lewin So we'll look to find Richarlison on this right-hand side here. He'll get it back onto his left foot. But he's surrounded by two players. Can he get the cross in? It'll be an Everton corner. Six minutes gone at Goodison Park. So we'll look to whip this ball in here with Hummers Rodriguez. And we look to go towards the back post here. Hopefully we can find Calvert lewin Oh, a lot of power. But no precision on that header from Calvert-Lewin. First big chance falls to Everton. Seven minutes gone here at Goodison Park. Still nil-nil between Manchester United and Everton. So be De Gea with the goal kick for Manchester United. He goes long looking for Harry Kane. Hopefully Mason Holgate can get there. He doesn't, but it falls kindly for Lucas Dean. Decore gives it back to Dean. We'll look to go... Through the gap there, looking for Wilfred Zaha. And we'll chip it in there, looking for Dominic Albert lewin And it's headed away there from Harry Maguire. So it'll be another Everton corner. Ten and a half minutes gone here at Goodison Park. Our first big chance fell to us from a corner. And there it was with Dominic Albert lewin So hopefully we can find an Everton man from this corner we'll do exactly the same with james rodriguez we'll whip it in but that's too close to the keeper i feel it's headed away by the manchester united defense only as far as wilfred zaha gabaman is inside the manchester united box now he's got a bit of space but he couldn't get around williams there who plays it to fernandez marcus rashford is bringing the ball away plays an infield ball for harry kane who chips it back over the top looking for marcus rashford and a good cut out there by mason holgate we'll go back to jordan pickford and i was looking for lucas dean there but it's Sniffed out there by the Manchester United man. We look to play Allen around the corner. And we look to go through to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Who does have the better pace of Harry Maguire here. We look to check back onto his foot there. Play it towards Wilfred Zaha. And a good save there from David De Gea. Plays a quick long ball up looking for Harry Kane. And that will fall straight to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. 20 minutes gone here at Goodison Park. Still nil-nil between Manchester United and Everton. We look to play the core right there. Wilfred Zaha, but cut out by Florenzi. Bruno Fernandes. Looks to bring the ball forward here. Gives it to Van der Beek. Plays it upfield there to Harry Kane. Who just turns away from Jean-Philippe Gabamon there, but finds Daniel James with a lot of space. Who whips in across, and Mason Holgate just gets an important header on that. Headed away by Richarlison, only as far as Van der Beek. Gives it to Harry Kane. And it's a good interception there by Mason Holgate. And he finds an offside. Marcus Rashford. So it's been a very close game so far here at Goodison Park. Everton have been closest to finding the breakthrough here. So it'll be Jordan Pickford to get this game back off underway here. After Marcus Rashford was caught in an offside position. Gives it to Seamus Coleman. Hopefully we can find Richarlison here on the right hand side. We've only got Dominic Calvert-Lewin in the box so far. We're going to have to hang back a little bit, try and get it on his left foot, and we'll look to get it towards the back post, but cut out by Harry Maguire. We need to get a few more men in the box here. Dominic Calvert-Lewin was all alone there. Van der Beek plays it back to Harry Maguire, who plays a first-time ball out to Williams. Marcus Rashford. Good interception there from Seamus Coleman, who gives it to Allen. There's a bit of space in the middle here for james rodriguez we look to find abdullah decore here and we look to send that through to wilfred zaha who's inside the box here wilfred zaha oh a great save from david de gea there to deny wilfred zaha 35 minutes gone still nil nil between manchester united and everton here at goodison park great save there from david de gea it'll be an everton corner so we'll put richard uh james rodriguez on the corner here we'll whip it in towards the far uh, near post here but taken down nicely by James and cleared to Marcus Rashford. He looks to bring the ball away from Manchester United. Gives it back to James. 
plays for Lorenzi, who gives it back to Marcus Rashford. Quick infield ball there to James. Gives it to Harry Kane, who plays it back to McTominay. Bruno Fernandes, Harry Kane. And can't quite get away from Abdoulaye Decore there, Wilfred Zaha. We look to play Dominic Albert lewin But there was no real address on that ball. Just a way with ball that was picked up again by Manchester United. Harry Kane to Marcus Rashford. Good interception there from uh, Seamus Coleman, sorry. Gives it to Richarlison. See, there's a run here from Dominic Calvert lewin But Van der Beek does a great job there to get back in cover. The ball goes back to David De Gea, who has to hoof it out. You obviously felt some pressure there from the Everton boys. We're into stoppage time in the first half. Wilfred Zaha throws it back towards Lucas Dean. But it's picked up by Manchester United. Harry Kane just inside the United half here. Gives it to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. Have we got a chance here? There's a good run there from Richarlison who's inside the box. Good save there again from David De Gea. And Wilfred Zaha picks that up for Everton. But it's intercepted there by the United man. Oh no. That'll be a free kick to Manchester United. We're deep into stoppage time here. That was a great chance for Richarlison. To send us into a 1-0 lead. Just before half time. As you can see, the next fixture is at Wembley against Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-final. And there is the half-time whistle. It's 0-0 between Manchester United and Everton. The bigger chances have fell to Everton in this first half. We need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal here in the second half. I do feel we have enough quality here to pick up the three points. So it'll be Harry Kane. To get the second half underway here for Manchester United at Goodison Park. Bruno Fernandes plays it back to Scott McTominay. James plays the ball over to Van der Beek. Just inside the Manchester United half, he finds Marcus Rashford in a bit of space here. And Van der Beek goes back to Marcus Rashford. He's got two Everton players on him. And Richarlison gets a foot in there. And we'll play it inside to Mason Holgate. Oh, no, 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 no. I was looking for Jean-Philippe Gabam in there. And we just get away with that because Mason Holgate did clip the United man. And Williams is inside the United Everton box here. And Pickford has to come out and make a fantastic interception there for us. And that should be a yellow card to Mason Holgate there. I didn't switch the player quick enough. I wanted to switch to Gabamon. And try and make a tackle there. But it was still on Holgate. So we ended up clipping the Manchester United man as you can see there. Ooh, that was a very... Nasty one there from Mason Holgate as Harry Kane comes off and Memphis Depay comes on in the 52nd minute for Manchester United. So it'll be an Everton goal kick with Jordan Pickford here. We'll play it short to Mason Holgate. And United are pressing high now, so we'll go to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. And we'll go to Dean and we'll play a first-time ball up here looking for Wilfred Zaha. Infield to Decore. We'll look for Allen here. And there's a lot of space on the right-hand side for Richarlison, who's inside the United box here. Looks to finish. It's 1-0 to Everton. It's Richarlison with the goal in the 56th minute here for Everton. And he runs over to the Everton supporters, who are delighted that we've managed to find the one goal that we've been looking for here. Everton lead 1-0 at Goodison. Great ball from Allen into the box. And a fantastic finish from Richarlison. Puts it to the far post there, beyond David De Gea. And Everton take a 1-0 lead at Goodison Park. So it'll be Memphis Depay to get the second half back off underway here. Plays Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. Back to Fernandes. Plays it out to James. Gives it back to Scott McTominay. To Fernandes who goes back to Chris Smalling. McTominay. Van der Beek. Midway through the United half here now. He's bringing the ball forward as Van der Beek. Gives it to Marcus Rashford. He goes back to Van der Beek. 60 minutes gone here at Goodison. We lead 1-0 thanks to Richarlison's 56-minute goal. Bruno Fernandes. He's running at the Everton defence. Oh, a lovely bit of skill there to get around Mason Holgate. And a shot there. And that shouldn't trouble Jordan Pickford. And it doesn't. So we look to roll out here to Mason Holgate. And we'll go to Jean-Philippe Gabamon. No, we won't. We'll go to the core right. Back to Gabamon now. And there's a bit of space for Allen there. But we'll go to Lucas Dean. We'll look for Wilfred Zaha. We'll go back to Lucas Dean. Jean-Philippe Gabamon plays up to James Rodriguez. We haven't seen much of James today. Allen. And there's a bit of space there for Decore if I can find him. 
but it's difficult to break down this United back line here. We'll look for Lucas Dean here, and we'll look to fire it in, looking for James Rodriguez. Hopefully Wilfred Zaha can pick that up for us. He does. And a lovely slide and tackle there from James, but it goes back to Wilfred Zaha, who crosses it in, looking for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, and headed coolly back to David De Gea there from Maguire. So Gabamon wins that for us, goes to Allen. James Rodriguez, who gets it onto his left foot. First hand shot from James Rodriguez, and a good save from De Gea. 73 minutes gone here at Goodison Park. It'll be an Everton corner. I think that was going towards the bottom corner there from James, and De Gea pushes it around the post for an Everton corner here. As McTominay goes off for Manchester United, and is that who's that? Is that Lucas Leiva coming on for Manchester United? Kind of look like Lucas Leiva. We'll have a look. McTominay off and Leiva on. Yep, it's Lucas Leiva. So it'll be Richarlison to whip this in for Everton here. And he finds James Rodriguez. And it falls again for James, but it'll be cleared by Williams. Coolly done there by Manchester United to play it back to the keeper in that situation there. as Van der Beek. And he's found James in quite a lot of bit of space here. What can you do with this, James? He's got the core right putting pressure on him. And he, a little turn there. Gets him away from Abdelai Decore. Lucas Leiva plays it into the pie. And a lovely bit of skill there. Oh no, it's one all at Goodison Park. The substitute Memphis Depay comes on. And it's one all. Not the best defending there from me. I could have done better there. He got away from Decore far too easily there. And a lovely bit of skill just on the edge of the box there. Sold me with uh, Jean-Philippe Gabamon. And he buries it behind Jordan Pickford. It's one all at Goodison Park. Can we go find ourselves the winner? So it'll be Calvert-Lewin to get the game back up underway here. Abdullah Decore, Wilfred Zaha. We look to play Hamas Rodriguez here. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I need a run from somebody. Decore, Hamas Rodriguez, Allen. Decore, desperately trying to find a bit of room here. And it's Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And he got around small and but couldn't get away from the Manchester United right back there. Harry Maguire. Six minutes remaining plus stoppage time here at Goodison Park. Have we got enough time to go up and find ourselves a winner here as Williams brings the ball away from Manchester United, plays it into Rashford, Depay, plays it into Van Der Beek, who plays a lovely first-time ball over the top there for Marcus Rashford. He's inside the Everton box and a good cut out there from Mason Holgate. So two minutes remaining at Goodison Park plus stoppage time. It'll be a Manchester United corner. As they make the third and final substitution here. James is coming off and Matic is coming on for Manchester United. A bit of def defensive stability there from Manchester United being brought on. Now deep corner there. Cleared away from Mason Holgate. Picked up by Thomas Rodriguez. And he looks to bring the ball away for Everton. This could be our chance here. But I need a run from somebody. And there's Calvert-Lewin. Oh, and he gets picked off there by Chris Smallen. That was the chance. We couldn't quite get men quick enough forward here as United might get one more chance here. We're deep into stoppage time here at Goodison Park. He finds Leiva on this left-hand side here. And a good cut out there by Lucas Dean. And we'll look just to get this ball clear. And there's the full-time whistle. It'll be a one-all draw with Manchester United at Goodison Park. We did have chances, but so did Manchester United. So overall, I'm happy with the one-all draw here. We didn't lose. So we'll have a look at the final match stats here. We had seven shots to their four, and we had four on target to their two. Like I said, we did have chances, but it'll be a one or draw here at Goodison Park between ourselves and Manchester United. So we'll have a look now towards the next fixture, which will be at Wembley. It's a semi-final against Liverpool. So we'll have a look at the games to be played in the next episode. We've got Liverpool at Wembley. And then we're into the month of May. Which will be Tottenham at home, Arsenal away, Wolves away and Leeds away. So three away fixtures and only one home fixture remain. So I might actually play Liverpool, play Tottenham. And that'll be the next episode. And then we'll split the month of May into two, I think. And we'll play Arsenal 
Wolves, and we might sim the last game against Leeds there. Those uh, games are a bit too a bit too important to simulate, I think. So we'll definitely be playing the semi cup final against Liverpool at Wembley. We'll definitely be playing Tottenham away. And then I think we'll have the season finale, which will be Arsenal away, Wolves away, and we'll see what we do with Le uh, Leeds away. We'll see how the table's looking. So before we round off today's episode, guys, as always, if you are a new viewer to the channel and you have yet to subscribe, then please do hit the subscribe button. Please do turn on all notifications so you do not miss any future content coming to the channel. If you are enjoying this Everton career mode save here on FIFA 21, then please remember to smash the like button, guys. It really does help the channel expand and grow. So thank you for taking the time out to do that for me. If there's any feedback, guys, if there's anything I can do differently, to make this more realistic and entertaining for you guys watching, then please do let me know in the comment section below. All your feedback is greatly, greatly appreciated. It does help me improve and grow the channel. So please keep the feedback coming, guys, and I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you, everyone.